We're on. Hey, Joe, guys. I'm going to put this in the case. So, hang tight, fellas. Ladies and It's uh, Eric and Art here. From What's up, guys? Eric with the Hotbox Pizza Truck. And Art with La Florita in the making, I guess. <laughs> so, Art has been talking to me or telling me about a tuna corn and olives pizza so I told him well no thank you for me but if you want to bring the ingredients and make yourself one have at it this was my childhood toppings when I was a little kid that was very very famous toppings green olives Corn and tuna, and maybe not in this combination, but uh, corn and onions they were making a lot, and tomatoes. With green olives, I think it's the best with tuna, and uh, green olives is good with everything. I don't know why we even <laughs> using black olives. I'm gonna be honest with you. And tuna is good with green olives, and they used to call it Bulgarian cheese. I guess it's like a feta cheese. So this is the combination. So it's supposed to be like tuna with something salty. So none of the pizzas around doing it here, and I think it's only my second time in my life in United States that I'm gonna eat a tuna pizza, and it's because I'm bringing my own tuna to the place to make it for me. B Y O T, bring your own tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Flower up that peel and let's see it. And I and I we just read about it, and it says that it's something that. Germans and Russians are really like this uh, combination of tuna. It's very famous stopping in uh, Germany and Russia. So I guess now I know why I really like it. I'm gonna do it my style. No, that's no, no I, more stretching it on the. I hope cool. everybody does it their style. I do these videos just to show you my techniques, but I think everybody should have their own style, their own techniques, their own way. Because there's, there's really, there's not, there's not a lot of wrong ways. Because some people might say it's like you're doing it slow, your production slow. What if you have like a lot of orders and you're just taking your time? But yeah, I'm not Domino's Pizza, so like, why you want me to make it so fast that I'm gonna miss my unique technique? I want you to taste my pizza the way I'm trying to make it for you and you're gonna tell me like why you're not making it fast as like those chain pizzas like I, like life's too short to rush just slow down yeah just wait for what I'm trying to make you and then you may be gonna taste what I'm trying to deliver you instead of like just being like you too slow on something Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe I'm slow though. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> Just do it right. You're still learning though too, so you, you got an excuse to be slow. It's super, super windy out. We got a cold front coming through today. And my sun sail out there that's attached to the truck over the picnic benches. Rocking and rolling. It's got the whole truck moving. And on these windy days, uh, it's really, really some the few times I got to deal with smoke coming into the truck. If you overload your fire, you're going to get uh, smoke in the truck. Or when you're first starting up your fire and your flue pipe's not hot, you're going to get smoke in the truck. Once, there's two things to, to uh, get in your oven to pull the smoke out. One is your pipe gets heated, and the other is the length of your uh, pipe. Not bad, right? Nope. Show us how this is done. Uh, no, it's the tricky part. Marzano, San, San Marzano, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I never gonna remember names. We actually switched to Italian plum tomatoes a while back just because of the difficulty in getting San Marzanos. And uh, I think I 
I enjoy it a little bit more. It's a little bit sweeter. Yeah, it's more available. It's uh, it. I don't know. People love it. I think it's a little bit sweeter and with a little bit salt. It tastes a little bit funkier to me. Like I prefer this combination. But yeah, back to the smoke in the truck. When you're first starting up your oven, if you're starting from a dead cold, you want to start the smallest little bit of fire. Just do you put your truck. do you put cheese? <laughs> That's not how the door goes. On. I just, I just broke your truck. It just slides up and in. <laughs> See, this one I'm not supposed to buy new equipment. <laughs> That's gonna break it. What's next? I think we're gonna put cheese. Yeah, I broke it. No, no, no. Lift up. I didn't know we'd have to teach him how to use a door. I knew we'd have to teach him how to make pizza, but. <laughs> But make sure you start a really, really small fire and let your pipe warm up before you start putting more wood on your fire because if your pipe's uh, if your pipe's cold and you got a big fire going, you better believe you are going to have a serious amount of smoke coming back into the uh, out of the oven into the truck. So got to heat your flue pipes, guys, when you're getting started. And then... Uh, if you overload your fire, but that's about it when it comes to smoke. Today it's just, you know... Yeah, the, I don't know if I want to touch corner first or... Well, or you less. can wash your hands. Oh, yeah. It's probably a good idea to maybe do it. First, maybe... To I see. don't know. I, I want it to be heavy with the cheese first, yeah. I would have put the tuna underneath, but this... Underneath the cheese? Yeah, just so it doesn't dry out and burn. That's what I like to do with the chicken as well. But gotcha. that's yeah. my. This well, is this isn't my pizza though. And well, tuna is not I, my I, game. I never experienced tuna in a wood fire oven, so we'll see. <laughs> and guys, I hope nobody's getting sick right now, but just looking at this because some of people like getting like, oh, you're not supposed to do this. This is the way that I was looking at pineapple. I never understood why people are eating pineapple on their pizza. But I guess like it just it's just what people like. You cannot just go to somebody's brain and be like, change your taste buds because you're not supposed to like something like that's what they like. That's what mm, they like. Smells like tuna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> smells like a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> But yeah, with it being so windy, sometimes the you get a good gust and it's actually the smoke's fighting the wind coming back down the chimney trying you to get out. You know what's funny? That I got a little bit nauseous right now. Like a, like, a, like you were sailing on a ship type of feeling. Because From the, your rocking? No, because the truck is, is moving? moving and <laughs> like you're feeling like you're on a, on a sailing thing because it is moving. Look so at look the at signs. That. Look at the wind the sail. Floor. Yeah, look at my sign out there. It's checking the truck and you just feel like we're in the boat. Woohoo! This guy's getting seasick. <laughs> I don't know if it's the, the wind or the tuna. The tuna smell, yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna... See, I'm a corn fan. I could do something with corn, but... And you know what they're making with corn? Um, onions? and tomato with corn. This is the best. Alright, well we better pick this up. We're 10 minutes into this video. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> we got a 50 minute wait on one pie, guys. Just hold up. You're gonna try it, right? No. <laughs> okay, comment below. <laughs> like, I'm becoming one of those YouTube guys. Comment below and tell me what is your favorite topping. Yeah, I think it's enough. I think it is too. I think you gave it a little bit of a stretch. The, it's the heaviest pizza that I ever made, bro. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm not just gonna drop it. I'm hoping my uh, pizza peel handles and stuff don't smell like tuna. I hope I'm not just gonna <laughs> drop it. Drop the tuna on the brick. Beautiful. Yeah, that's real good. Well, it looks neat. 
It's the first time in this truck since you opened almost, what, 10 years ago? One of the first pizzas I ever made in this oven was a... Uh, Calamari or something? No, a scallop pizza. Because we can, um, summertime, we can go right off in the Gulf here and scallop, go scalloping. And they're the small ones, and you just put them... I like to put them in the shell with a little bit of garlic and butter and then put them on the grill. But you can do it in a saucepan or whatever with some bar butter and garlic. But we did it on a pizza and it was nothing short of amazing. All right. We're ready for edition. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it! Okay, if, if we stop in the video, it's because I dropped tuna on the floor right now by mistake. Oh, it's heavy. You saw it's bending. You saw it was bending. Oh, yeah, it's a <laughs> tuna heavy pizza for sure. <laughs> This guy's gonna work with the glove. <laughs> Feel more, more. Uh, well, keep that out of there till you're ready. You can right. get it all hot, I and always, then the pizza always, sticks to it. Yeah. I know you're ready to go. You're like, it's like your I'm hockey nervous. stick. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You're ready to make a slap shot. My famous bubbles coming off. It is. He's got a different technique, and it works. Give her a turn. <clears throat> the other thing, guys, is I'm actually transitioning right now from summertime to wintertime dough. So I'm letting the dough sit out a little bit longer in the morning, rising. Check your bottom. All right, you're beautiful. And uh, my refrigerator is running much colder because it's not as hot out. So we uh, pull and dough out you know, and trying to let it sit if you can, or pull them all out, or whatever. But if you let them come up to room temperature, they rise a lot more. So you didn't go back in the same spot every time, so you're going to have a burn spot in that one area of the pizza underneath. See where it's burnt? Yeah. Go ahead and pull it out and finish it in the dome. It's so important when you got a hot base is to continue to go into the same spot, because the second you go into another spot, man, it's just so hot. Ah! And you're already starting to. The pizza went on fire. <laughs> no, it didn't go on fire. Sometimes one of the, sometimes the little holes will spray out air, and it, they'll light on fire like little volcanoes, little geysers. I think I'm happy with the result. I think you need a little more on this side. More? Yeah. Let's give it a spin. Right here needs more color. On this side? Yep. Yeah. So bring it. There you go. There you go. Now bring it up in the dome. Not too long. There you go. Get a bite on it. Alright. I'm just happy I that think you're good. chunks of tuna didn't fall down on the dome. Let's bring it up and look. Okay, All give right. me your uh, thumbs up or suggestions, guys. <laughs> well, let's see if I can show you the bottom. The bottom looks really, really good. But in that one place where he let like this all right. the one place where he let it get into an another area you can see where it got really really dark there other than that this thing's a beauty I'm not gonna eat it but the dough is looking absolutely amazing So what do you call this pizza? I call it uh, uh, 
German Russian pizza. I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna have to think a name of it. A name. It's gonna be on my it. menu. Yeah. If you well. You know what, guys? I mean, you're gonna be famous after this video. Hey, who guys, does this? We're doing GoFundMe Razor. You can find it GoFundMe. I think it's GoFundFund.me, and you can type La Florita. And actually, one of the guys that's gonna donate, I'm just gonna randomly pick and just gonna name the pizza after his name or whatever funny joke you wanna make for this pizza. But nothing offensive, though. So there you go, guys. You can go and find me. We're trying to get a fridge with your donation, so that's gonna be awesome. So yeah, maybe it's gonna be one of you, the tuna pizza guys. We reached out to the, or Art reached out to the fridge company to see if they'd sponsor him, but it's been crickets, so. I've just been so happy with my Spartan refrigerator that we figure, hey, let's put one in your truck and see if we can throw, throw their name around and It's just too hot to even try. <laughs> this guy's happy. I'm, I'm, I'm home at my childhood. <laughs> this guy's happy. This is my childhood. Well, guys, thank there you it so is. much for your support. Is it is it as good as the first one you've ever had on a pizza, or is this better being in the wood fire? The wood fire, the charcoal. The old things make the big difference. You guys gotta understand this double zero flour in a wood fire oven. If you've never experienced it, it's just uh, it's on another level. The, the the dough, it's just absolutely amazing. You could put dirty flip flops on it on, <laughs> with this sauce and this dough. It doesn't matter. The old I, old dirty leather boots. I just hope you're showing my face on the camera eating this pizza. Oh. And they know it's with tuna and it's double for them. It's like oh, I cannot watch this video anymore with this dude eating this. No, nah, you never know. You know, different strokes for different folks, right? Where are gonna try one slice right now? Lazy Susan. <laughs> All right, guys, this was something different for you. Art's been dying to try this. He he eats his tuna sandwiches a couple times a day, so now he's gonna be eating tuna pizzas when he gets his truck done. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. I just hit 600 subscribers. 601. Man, thank you guys so much. We're flying now. From 500. Yeah, we're, we're moving. So I'm just trying to con continue to put um, content out for you guys. And Recipes and the truck build project. I can't listen to music in the background anymore. Half my videos got copyright claims. <laughs> I'll never make money at this. We're gonna play in banjos here soon, don't worry. I'm never gonna make gonna money make at this, but as long as you guys build trucks, I got some more pictures to share with you. I, it's neat. You guys are the reason why I do this. You know, when I see pictures of you guys, sorry, you're about guys. to lose it on my floor. I'm sorry, I have to About to lose it all over the place. <laughs> but you guys send me pictures of your trucks being built, building them yourselves, other people building them trailers that you've ordered you know jim up in pa he ordered a trailer and he's going to build it out himself um just got done talking to chris his oven is almost delivered this poor guy i'm going to post a picture of his truck in his oven he's he's going big but uh man he's had to keep his head in the game they've taken so long on his oven excuses shipping he ordered this oven more than six months ago, I think, and he still hasn't received it. So he's hanging in there, keeping, trying to keep it positive. And as soon as he gets that um, oven delivered, it's going to be, he's going to be moving right along. But I get pictures from you guys all the time, and uh, you guys are the payoff for sure. So have a great weekend. Thanks for subscribing, 600. Let's go for seven, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Great weekend, guys.